Yes! Yes! What's up guys, it's Alex. Today I'm showing you recipes using rice paper, but they go way beyond the classic spring roll. So listen, I always have rice paper in my cupboard. Why? Because first off, it's cheap. Second, it lasts forever, almost forever. Then uh, it's really easy to make recipe with this stuff. And also it's really versatile. You can make tons and tons of recipes with rice paper. I know what you think. Thanks to this guy, it's gonna be uh, spring rolls every f night of the week. I, I finally have 11 creative recipes that use rice paper way beyond the classic spring roll. Let's do it. One, US chips or UK crisp as you want. Totally weird yet the most easy recipe ever. Just warm up some oil and then carefully dip the dry rice paper sheets in. See, it takes about a few seconds tops. They don't go only crispy, no. They puff, which make them ultra crispy. Sprinkle some salt, some smoked paprika, dip them in hot tomato sauce, do as you like. Let's make a very, very quiet time. The pure silence. Another one. But with all those wrinkles and all the puffed up texture, one of the crispiest things on the planet. I am serious, this is 100% true. Two, steamed salmon. We are all familiar with the salmon baked in foil. It's a good technique because it traps all the flavors. But this is a hundred times better. Cause, no, I'm serious. Cause unlike with the foil, you can actually eat the wrapper. <laughs> Season your portion of salmon with salt and pepper on both sides. Get the seasoning in the fish. Then set it aside. Use three rice paper wrappers and dampen them with a wet kitchen towel. This way, they won't be totally mushed. They will still be usable. Now place them in a flower pattern. Start with shredded green cabbage. Then, some strips of carrots, mushroom slices, the piece of salmon, some ginger strips, just to get the flavors in the flesh, a few leaves of dill or any herbs you have, bits of chili, a good dash of soy sauce, and a nice drizzle of olive oil. So now you want to wrap this carefully, not too tight, but you don't want any leaks either. So instead of baking it, we're steaming it. I would say it's about 8 to 10 minutes to get it still moist inside or you know 15 minutes if you like it fully cooked. No steam, no problem. Just use the microwave oven. In that case, don't cook it more than 3 to 4 minutes. At the end, you'll get that piece of art. Moist and flavorful with all the, the flavors from the veg and the ginger. Everything is nicely packed, so it's really intense. And of course, the best bit is that the wrapper is just part of the dish. I'm loving this idea so much. I mean, it's so good. I think I will probably use this trick uh, in many other videos. It's so juicy and so moist. It's, uh, it's almost an advertising. Except that, of course, I'm not selling any products. Apart from my t-shirt, of course. Three, ramen. So let's say you are out of your staple food, aka ramen noodles, but thanks to the French guy, you have tons and tons, sorry, of rice paper wrappers. Slightly damp a rice sheet with a wet kitchen towel to soften it, but not too much. Wrap that with an oily kitchen paper just to prevent it from sticking. Now roll it tight and cut it into slices. You can unroll that easily with a chopstick. Wait, if you have a pasta machine with a noodle attachment, that's even better. Slide those wrappers in 
and watch the magic happen. Rice noodles. Add those to a bowl of stock along with mushrooms, chicken leftovers, coriander leaves, sesame seeds, whatever you have in the fridge. Rice noodles ramen bowl without noodles? Done. Listen, if you like those recipes, those creative waves, then you should definitely subscribe to my channel because otherwise then you're gonna miss part two. And trust me, you don't want to miss part two. Why? That's why. Four, chocolate coconut roll. Nobody said spring roll have to be savory. In fact, it works great with sweet stuff as well. Cook rice noodles a few minutes in coconut milk. By the way, don't trash the milk afterwards. Keep it, it's gonna be useful. It's as good as an unboiled one, just saying. Dampen a rice wrapper with a wet kitchen towel, just to make it soft. Add banana strips in the center. Add the rice noodles, apple strips or any fruits you like, chocolate chips, a few crushed cashew nuts, a drop of the coconut milk and then wrap it like a spring roll. Dip the whole thing in coconut milk and then roll it in dry coconut. Add a few toppings and, you know, a trickle of chocolate sauce won't hurt anyone, right? Sweet, soft, moist and of course chocolatey, it's a good dessert, a really good one that you can wrap up in no time. 5. Maki Sushi who said you have to use nori seaweed to make sushi? You know the black wrapper thing. You can do it with rice wrappers as well. Dump on a rice wrapper with a wet kitchen towel. For style and flavors, I start by sticking a few leaves of coriander and basil onto the paper. Then I'm adding rice. So for the record, that is not Japanese rice, not even short grain rice. It's just, you know, Indian basmati rice leftovers. It's less ideal, but it's gonna work just fine. Add a few strips of sushi grade salmon, cucumber strips or avocado, and then roll it slowly, carefully to get a sushi roll. Trim off the ends and eat them. Cut that in two, then each one in three. Maki sushi sounds like a party. And on top of that, it rhymes. Guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed those creative recipes. The first part of those creative recipes around rice wrappers. Unlike many people, I think that uh, when you put boundaries, when you put limits, that's where you get the most creative. So FYI, I kept the most mind-blowing, most mind-blowing recipes for the second part of this creative series around rice wrappers. I know, I'm evil. Ah, you'll get over it. Ah, you know. Like this video if you did, comment it down below with your favorite cheats or twists, and also don't forget to subscribe for the next part. Bye-bye, salut!